We hope you enjoy this clip. Before you watch it, please hit that subscribe button. Um, I want to give, going back to to the, the too big conversation, because I, I think it's interesting the way that um, you guys have built around Giannis. Yep. And, you know, I know the Pelicans probably have a similar, it's, Giannis and Zion are different players, yep. and obviously Zion's got to get healthy. But I think it's a similar concept in terms of how you want to build around Zion, how you want to build around Giannis. Giannis, you got to give a shout out here yeah. to John Horst. Absolutely. Because I, I, That's I think, my guy. No, but man. listen, I think about this. I, I think John. about with both you and Brooke Lopez, you came over on a minimum deal, basically. Yeah. Uh, Brooke came over. I you know think how it I got was, to Milwaukee? I think I want to hear it, but I think Brooke came over on, like, he signed for the biannual, I think, his yeah. first year coming off that Lakers season. So John was able to sort of identify guys that could be potentially those that no, other I called, big. I called Milwaukee. To Did come you really? Milwaukee. They, they never called me first. <laughs> <laughs> I swear, like, it's crazy. So, like. You were coming off Knicks. Knicks. Knicks so, like, yeah. I signed a, a, a two-year deal with the Knicks, and my second year was team option. At the time, that was the biggest deal I had. Um, in free agency that, that year, when I signed with the Knicks, I thought I was going to get paid. I thought I was going to have a, 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 a teams offering me big big money and big deals and things like that. Obviously, I was on stinker teams where guys don't really respect stats like that if your team didn't win. You know, I didn't know that at the time. I was a young 22, 23-year-old um, just trying to find his way in the league, just trying to find my name, this and that. So I say I'm just signing with the team with the most money, like trying to make some money for myself and my family. Sign with the Knicks, thinking now I'm going to get my second year uh, picked up. Um, then the pandemic happens. Like, damn, pandemic. Then – we don't make the bubble. And then I'm at home for eight, nine months, just working out, working on my game, really not knowing what's next. But I know that my team option not going to get picked up because I didn't really play up to my own, but like not, not potential, but I didn't pay up to what I thought I was going to play up to. And um, I know they didn't as well. So um, didn't have the best of the year, but I had spurts where I showed promise, but it wasn't just a good year overall for me. So then when they turned down my option, I'm like, Okay, I watched Milwaukee in the in the playoffs. I think I can bring something different to the table that I don't think they had nobody on the team that was like me. So I'm like, hit my agent up. I'm like, what do you think about Milwaukee? Milwaukee, but they don't have any money. And I'm like, all right, cool, you're right. So he was like, oh yeah, these other teams they they want they they sign you for two years. Um, but the second he's going to be team option, I'm like, man, what about Milwaukee? <laughs> and he's like, why well, Milwaukee? I was like, hey, man, what about Milwaukee, man? Um, can I get Giannis's number or something? Like, does anybody have Giannis's number? So I called on myself and was like, hey, yo, Yarn, um, you don't know me, bro. I don't know you. But, like, bro, I promise I can help you out win a championship, bro. And six months later, we won the championship. <laughs> It's one of the craziest stories ever, bro. <laughs> like, I signed with them in no November of 2020. In July of 2021, literally, what's that, six, seven months yeah, later? Yeah, seven, seven, eight months, yeah. We won the chip. That is an amazing. <laughs> I actually got chilled when you said that. It doesn't chill. happen very often. No, right? it doesn't always work like that in the NBA. <laughs> but we, we should note, uh, no disparaging your agent here. Mark yeah. Bartlestein. Shout out Mark Bartlestein, one of the, by one the, one of the way. greatest agents guy. of all time. Yes, sir. You know, one of the problems with Mark, he's he's just trying to get his guys paid. Yeah. You know, yeah. <laughs> he's good at that. <laughs> he's good at that. I told him at the time, like, man, it's not about the money right now. Like, I need to get my name back going. I need to get my, my image. Like, everybody has this. Like, everywhere I go, it's like everybody's looking at me crazy. Like, I'm, I'm a good dude. Like, I bet my name been tarnished just because of things I went through early on in my career. But, like, I can really play basketball at a high level. I can help impact winning. But I just never been on a good team that was showcased for me to showcase. So, like, nobody's watching WGN, Chicago Networks. Nobody's watching, you know, like, these what MSG Networks if it's not on, you know, TNT or ESPN, like, frequently so they can see what I can really do. So I wanted to get to a winning culture that can help me do that. We hope you had fun with us today. If you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button.